Hello, my name is Aaron Fisher, and I am the Youth Livestock and Equine Specialist in the Department of Animal Science at the University of Tennessee. And my name is Jesse Shanks. I am the Small Ruminant Specialist in the Department of Animal Science at the University of Tennessee. We are presenting a video study series focused on sheep-related topics for Skillathon. This particular episode will provide a description of nutrients commonly used in formulation and analysis of feeds and forages used in sheep production. Formulating a ration for sheep can be very complex. Some of the factors to consider include choosing between many different feedstuffs, expected feed intake, palatability or how readily the animal will eat the feed, nutrient availability, and toxicity concerns. Because of this, many sheep producers choose to purchase pre-mixed feeds. These feeds are specifically designed to meet the needs of a specific class of sheep. All pre-mixed feeds or individual feedstuffs will have a feed label that provides specific information about the given feed. The main parts of a feed label include product name and brand name, species and animal class that the feed is designed for, guaranteed analysis, ingredient statement, feeding directions, manufacturer's name and address, and a net weight statement. The guaranteed analysis is the range of nutrient levels that must be in the feed mixture by law. This could be a minimum, maximum, or a minimum and maximum. Most feeds will include in some form nutrient levels for energy, protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. We will now go more in depth about these five nu main nutrients. The first is energy. Energy is used by the animal to perform many body functions. Some examples include growth, respiration, and maintaining body temperature. Sheep will consume energy in two forms, as carbohydrates and as fat. It is important to note that fat provides 2.25 times more energy than carbohydrates. Energy is commonly reported as total digestible nutrients or TDN. Protein is another important nutrient that is a major part of most tissues in the body. It is involved in digestion, growth, promotion, immune response, as well as many other body functions. The building blocks of protein are amino acids. Although protein is made up of amino acids, sheep rations are typically formulated for protein instead of specific amino acids. This is due to the ability of the rumen microorganisms to create microbial protein that is used by the animal. With respect to formulating and reporting on feed mixes, protein is commonly referred to as crude protein, or CP. Crude protein is an estimate based on the amount of nitrogen present in the feed. Fiber is the roughage or bulk part of the diet that passes through the body, largely undigested by the animal. When talking about forages, Fiber is inversely related to forage quality, meaning that the higher the quality of the forage, the less fiber that is present. Fiber is generally classified as acid detergent fiber, or ADF, and neutral detergent fiber, or NDF. Acid detergent fiber is an estimation of cellulose and lignin content. Neutral detergent fiber is an estimation of cell wall content. Fiber is commonly reported as crude fiber, or CF, on most feed labels and nutrient analyses. Generally, 
feeds and forages with a higher crude fiber have a lower overall nutrient content. Vitamins are organic substances that are essential for body tissue, but are needed in very small amounts. They are typically classified as water-soluble or fat-soluble. Water-soluble vitamins include all of the B vitamins and vitamin C. Fat-soluble vitamins include vitamins A, D, E, and K. Vitamins are generally not of concern when formulating sheep diets due to the microbial vitamins produced during ruminal fermentation by microorganisms. Minerals are inorganic substances that are essential for many body processes. Minerals are generally classified into micro minerals or macro minerals. Examples of micro minerals, also called trace minerals, include copper, iron, selenium, and zinc. These minerals are needed in relatively small amounts by the animal. Examples of macro minerals also called major minerals, include calcium, phosphorus, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium. These minerals are needed in relatively large amounts by the animal. Calcium and phosphorus are two minerals that are most often included on most feed labels. Most sheep are provided a mineral mixture during most of their life. It is important to monitor mineral levels and ratios as deficiencies and imbalances can occur depending on the feed or forage that is provided to the animal. For example, it is known that excess sulfur in a feed or forage can make copper and zinc and other trace minerals less available to the animal. One important note about copper, Levels commonly fed to beef cattle will kill sheep. Thus, if you have cattle and sheep on your farm, you should keep sheep away from the cattle mineral. Additionally, the calcium to phosphorus ratio needs to be kept at approximately two to one in most feed mixtures. One last important nutrient that is not included on a feed label is water. In fact, water is typically removed from consideration in a feed mixture so that feeds and nutrients can be considered on an equal basis. We talked about feeds on a dry matter basis in an earlier episode. However, water is one of the most essential nutrients for sheep. Water plays a major role in digestion, transport of nutrients within the body, excretion of waste products, and regulation of body temperature. It is vitally important to ensure that all sheep have free access to clean, fresh water at all times. It should be noted that there are several factors that can affect the water needs of sheep. Typically, the higher the environmental temperature, the more water an animal will need. The type of animal and stage of production can also have a dramatic effect on water needs. A lactating ewe will definitely have an increased water requirement. Heavier animals also require more water. Finally, water content of feeds and forages can affect water needs. There are some feeds like silage and haylage that have more water in them than others. That wraps up our discussion of nutrients for sheep production. Please understand that we just briefly described these nutrients and how they are needed by sheep. We wish you the best of luck as you progress through your sheep project. Please let us know if we can ever be of assistance. Thank you and have a great day.